Hey Pisces, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly reading. This is for Pisces. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Look what came out. The King of Pentacles just flew out. I just heard that you are rare. Some of you need to know that you are rare. Like your gifting, your calling, whatever you have been born to do, your gift is rare. Like you are rare, your presence. There's not many people who can tap in the way a Pisces can tap in. The way you connect with people emotionally, the way you understand people's emotions. There's something very kingly or queenly about your presence when you come into a room or when you're around people. I'm just intuitively picking that up. Um, what spirit is giving me. There's something about you that people just enjoy. So just know that you are rare and people think more highly of you than you you might think, okay? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, for Pisces this week, what's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces this week? We have the Seven of Wands. Ooh, okay. And we have the Nine of Swords. Some of you could be worried about your money, your stability, your job. I feel like these are fears that you may deal with. You may be worried that you don't have enough money or you may be <clears throat> worried about a certain position. Some of you have been putting in a lot of hard work. Ten of Wands is here. Okay. Now, as I always say, vice versa, the stories could be flipped or reversed. Put the characters where they go. Keep an open mind as the cards come out. Okay. This King of Pentacles person, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo could be coming in demanding to say something, okay? <laughs> and what does this person want? King of Pentacles, show me. Six of Swords is here, okay? Ten of Swords, ooh. And the Hanged Man, okay. Okay, so what, what is going on? Is someone leaving someone behind to come toward you? What is happening here? It could, it could be a fellow Pisces for some of you. Something is put on hold here. What is this? Ten of Swords, Six of Swords. Judgment is here. Okay. Two of Wands. Someone has a question here. Emperor Energy. Okay. Yeah. Some of you... Let me go back to the job situation. <laughs> For some of you, when you choose to leave this job, you're going to get something way better. You're just... You're going to find something way better than what you have right now. I don't know what you're doing right now. Right now you're a king of pentacles, but it's like spirit is trying to elevate you to the emperor status. Possibly owning your own company or like doing your own projects or th there's something here. It could be a nonprofit that some of you are working on. Some of you need to stop working for someone and start being the one that people work for. Do you see what I'm saying? You need to switch it, okay? Where you are the one, instead of getting hired, you are the one that's hiring people. I feel that strongly for some of you. If that's been on your mind or you've been uh, studying uh, to become, you know, your own boss or, you know, opening your own business, maybe you've been taking classes. For some of you, spirit is pushing you to that level, that next level. Okay, who is this emperor? Show me. High Priestess, your energy, Pisces. Five of Pentacles. Four of Cups. I feel like someone secretly misses you here. It could be an Aries uh, missing you or an Earth sign. Someone is missing you. What is that about? Yeah, Hermit. It could be a Virgo. Hermit and Three of Swords. Secretly hurting since you've walked away, since you left, someone is hurting here. Why are they hurting with this Three of Swords? Why are they hurting? What is this? Six of Wands. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. Ooh. Let me say this. You could be hurting from something that just happened. With that Six of Swords, Ten of Swords that came out, you could have left someone... Or someone could have left you and you could be hurting over this. Yeah. Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. This has been very difficult. Something overwhelming has happened. I feel like you've been trying to just move on with your life and, you know, 
be strong about a certain situation, but it's it has been difficult for you to move on. Show me the seven of wands for Pisces this week. What is this? Seven of wands, the devil energy. It could be a Capricorn involved. Five of cups. It's like someone feels really bad for what they did or what they said to you. King of Wands, you may have regrets about a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. You may have regrets about someone in your past who you possibly were very attracted to. Maybe there was a lot of passion, a lot of heat, and something got blocked. What was blocked? Spirit, Three of Wands, okay, okay, Eight, eight of Wands. I just heard Spirit wants you to wait for something better whatever happened between you and that devil energy of a person, king of wands, someone was like all about the sex, the passion, maybe using you as arm candy. You know, you looked good. You smelled good. You had money. There's something like that with this person. And there was a lot of regrets with this person. It's like spirit is saying, wait for something better. I have you moving towards something better. Three of wands, eight of wands, ace, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Come on, Pisces. Come on, y'all. Come on, Pisces. There's something better for you. Ace of Pentacles, something more solid. Knight of Cups. Some of you will start dating again. Two of Pentacles is here. Queen of Pentacles. Whew. Maybe an age gap for some of you. But I feel like um, when this person comes in, you'll be in a place where you're actually ready for a solid, committed relationship. Once you've healed from this past person or whatever didn't go right between you and a certain someone. Show me that nine of swords. Three of cups. You can still dream about this person. They may come into your energy sometime. Three of cups, the lovers. Yeah, it could be a Gemini for some of you. The nine of cups. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Some of you may still think about the passion or... Think about what could have been between you and this person, okay? Nine of Swords, it may keep you up or keep you awake. This person could also be feeling this, thinking this, missing you. A King of Swords. It could be a, a Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, an air sign. Show me that King of Swords. Death card, it could be a Scorpio. The Moon. Someone has a fear that this is completely over, that you don't want them anymore, that this is completely over. How is Pisces feeling about this person? Whoa. Eight of Pentacles, how does Pisces feel? Ace of Wands, how does Pisces feel about this person? Ace of Swords, you want the truth from this person. You could be upset with them and you want the truth. Eight of Pentacles, you could be very focused on this. It may cause an argument with the Five of Wands. You want the truth. You want to know what this person... If they ghosted, you definitely want to know what was going on, what happened. Knight of Wands, you could suspect that this person is a player. Four of Pentacles, you're holding back from that side of them. You, you may try hard not to sleep with this person, Four of Swords. <clears throat> you may also see the two of you as just on a break as well, okay? Something happened between the two of you. I know it'll be different for all of you, but I see that something happened and you could be demanding the truth from this person um, because they could have just ghosted and like left you out in the cold. The Death card with the Moon energy. Yeah. Mmm... I feel like this person is also someone who like parties a lot. They could have left you at home. Like I'm getting that energy very strongly when I, I look back at the nine of wands. I said nine of wands, nine of swords. Excuse me. I feel like maybe you were waiting on this person or they always had you in this state of worry. Maybe while they were out drinking or having fun with friends or something like that. Three of cups, lovers, getting attention from other people, nine of cups. I feel like this person drinks a lot or they like to party. They like sleeping around. They like getting attention from other people. Okay. Okay. Anything else Pisces would need to know this week? The star card, Aquarius energy coming through, 10 of cups. And the Nine of Wands. Whew. Oh my gosh. There was a lot of potential for this, possibly with an Aquarius coming through strong. Or like I've already mentioned, a water sign. 
Um, I feel like with the nine of wands, this has been tiring or this has caused you to be in a state of like worry in some type of way. Nine of wands, queen of wands, justice. This person could be hanging on to you now. Libra's energy is coming through strong. Yeah. Taurus, Libra, Empress. I'm a, okay. I'm going to say this, this person could definitely be involved with someone else. Two of Swords is here. We have the Queen of Wands and we have the Empress. This person could be involved with someone else. And cheating definitely could have been an, involved or an affair. Five of Swords. Oh, six of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Oh, I'm going to say this. Some of you, you may need to just invest in a new lover, Ace of Cups. It may be time to invest in someone new. This person, it seems like they wanted their cake and eat it too. Like they, they wanted both of you or they wanted you and several other people or they wanted you and they wanted to still act like they were single. There's something here with this person that I wouldn't trust. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, advice for Pisces. Communicate clearly. Yeah. I feel like, remember when I was saying you want the truth, you could be demanding the truth. It could cause an argument. I feel like take your time when you talk to this person because something about this person could trigger you to not communicate clearly and you may just want to cuss this person out. And give them the business, if you know what I mean. Like, you may want to really go in on this person. There's something about this person that could trigger you. So make sure that you have a lot of patience. You may need a mediator. Maybe there needs to be, you know, a go-between uh, with you and this person. Um, so that the two of you can actually hear each other out instead of it turning into an argument. Okay? Okay. So communicate clearly this week and remember to have patience with yourself and with this situation. Alrighty, Pisces, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. If this reading resonated with you, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.